Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today I have come up with another amazing JavaScript project which you can build in less than 10 minutes. And this is an amazing game which you can play with your friend. This game allows you to enter the names of the two player and then you can roll the dice and there is a little bit of animation there and based on that, whichever number is higher, that player wins the game. If the number turns out to be same, then it's called a draw. And this game is very easy and it requires very little amount of JavaScript knowledge along with HTML and CSS. And you're gonna see that we'll be done with this within 10 minutes. So let's do coding. So the very first thing we are gonna do is we are going to create a folder called dice game. Inside this, uh, we will be needing six dice faces along with one animation dice, which we'll be using. You can grab them from my GitHub account and let's go ahead and paste them here. So you can see we have a dice one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one is GIF, which allows you to have that little animation going around when the dice are spinning. So let's go ahead and close all. Let's go ahead and create a new file called dicegame.html. And in this, we will do our boilerplate code. Let's call this dice game. And let's open this so that we can see side by side how the coding is going on. Let me minimize this one. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a div with the class container, which will be holding the name of the players, the player one and the player two, as well as it will be showing the starting position of the dice. So let's go ahead and do that. Next we want to do is create another container for the bottom part and there we are going to place uh, two buttons. One will be to roll the dice, another one will be to edit the names of the player. So now we can see that our player one, his dice position, player two, his dice position, and two buttons to roll the dice are in place. So let's go ahead and create the script for this. And today we are going to be a bit messy because we are going to write everything in this one single HTML file. So let's do that. Let's create a script tag here itself. And inside this, we'll start writing our jobs. So first we'll be doing is like, we will be assigning two names to the player. So the player one and the player two. And then we'll be creating a function to edit the name of those players. Now we have the edit names function in place, which is going to allow the user to edit their names. So see, yep, it works. And if I click blank and don't do anything, it is gonna say, please enter a valid name. And if we change it and we, and we call it Malfoy, you see the names are changing. So our function is working. So let's go ahead and create the roll the dice function as well. So for roll the dice function, what we are going to do is we are going to select the dice number, which is right now it's saying that dice six and dice, these that two dices, we are going to select them. And then we are going to put a dice scrolling GIF on that one so that the animation shows that they are spinning and we will be using a math.random function to determine what will be the value of each dices. Then we are going to set that value to each dice. Then we are going to compare those values, whether they are equal, if they are equal, it's a draw. If one of them is higher than the another one, then that player wins. Then we are going to put that into the result and let the player know who has won. So 
So that's our function, roll the dice. We are going to check for the dice number and based on that, we are going to determine which player is winning. And also we are setting the GIF to both the dice to show the animation. So let's see if our logic is working or not. Okay. So now we have our dices and if we click, they are getting rolled and we are getting the player one wins as well. So let's go ahead and fix the CSS. So let's go ahead and add styles to our CSS part. I have already copied them, so I'm just going to paste them and we'll explain one by one. So we have the container where we are setting width, margin, text align. We are also giving some styles to the dice and the background of the HTML body color and the and we are setting the styles for the heading tag as well as paragraph, image and bottom and for the button as well. So let's save this. And uh, this looks nice, although, although the button content should be inside the button and not outside the button. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go ahead and make some changes to this style. Uh, what we want to do is like give this a class and uh, we want to put everything inside the container. So let's keep this here and save it. Yep. So now we can do a little demo of our application. Let's go ahead and roll the dice. And there you go, player one wins. Let's edit the names. So I'll give, going to put my favorite character. And let's see who wins. Oh, it's Naruto. And the second time, it's a draw. Naruto again. This was a fairly simple project to make and it took less than 10 minutes to make it. I hope you guys really liked this project and if you did, hit thumbs up on my video and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more awesome content.